Well, good morning, everybody. Let's take a look at that 24 hour temperature cast to get us started. Low, early, low, late. Staying kind of low even this afternoon. A very different looking setup on that 24 hour temperature cast compared to yesterday when we started off with the temperatures are pretty much pretty high and then really dropped off yesterday afternoon behind that boundary. Boy, did it ever get kind of chilly out there after that cool front came through and brought us some of those rain showers. Got out just in time for trick or treating too, so we made out okay. Future cast is going to show some clouds want to linger way out to the east, and that may mean for the Florida Georgia game in Jacksonville, some lingering clouds or even a couple of showers tomorrow afternoon. But for all the football action around here tonight and tomorrow afternoon, the weather looks pretty primo, pretty fall like, pretty football like out there for us now. Currently, it's cold to get started. Some of the coldest we've seen in a long time, down to 37 in Thomasville. We're at 43 in Valdosta, 43 in Tallahassee. There is a bit of a breeze to give that air a little extra bite too. So you're going to want to bundle up as you head on out for work and for school this morning or even just take the dog out. It's going to be a little bit chilly out there. Blakely's down to 34 all of a sudden. We're at 39 at Quincy. We're at 37 at Moultrie. It's 41 at Monticello. Gets a little warmer in Cross City at 52. But even Carabelle, just 42 this morning. Look at the temperature change for over the past 24 hours. Some spots 25 degrees cooler than it was this time yesterday. Others 35 degrees cooler. Panama City is 39 degrees cooler right now than it was 24 hours ago. Talk about a huge change in air mass. And that high area of higher pressure, that cooler air is washed across the region. The center of that high is going to stay to our north. It's not going to get directly overhead. So I don't expect temperatures to really bottom out much farther tomorrow morning. But I wouldn't be surprised at all to see a few more numbers in the 30s tomorrow. And then a little reinforcing push of cooler air is going to try to get on in here for Sunday. So we're not going to get just a day, day and a half of cooler fall like weather this time. I think this time we get a whole weekend and beyond of fall like weather when things start to moderate a little bit early next week. They'll moderate to more seasonable levels. It's not going to be a return to that warm and soupy stuff we put up with pretty much for most of October. Small crafts need to be advised before lunchtime this afternoon. Those wind seas have calmed down, but we're talking a breeze out of the northeast 15 to 25 this morning. Low tides are next up. We wrapped up those high tides just after 530 30s and 40s clear, cool, breezy. Sun coming up at 752. But remember, this is the weekend we turn those clocks back. Don't forget to change the batteries in the smoke detector is a great time to do it. It will be lighter earlier starting Sunday. So today, tomorrow, the two days we still have to wait till well, after seven o'clock to tee off. How about upper 60s for us this afternoon? And then I think tonight into tomorrow, another chilly one. Temperatures way back in the low 40s. Here's that extended forecast. It's going to be a struggle to reach 70 for highs, maybe all weekend. But I do think things get a little bit more mild as we start next week.